Good morning. It's 7.30 a.m. I am uh, getting ready to leave for work. Because now I work outside of the house because I was going insane. I, I, I just decided to start recording. So I create a commitment with myself about this. And I don't let my self-sabotaging voices tell me that I'm not capable of doing this. So yesterday when I was... When I got to the gym, I noticed that there was a stand with a lot of food for donation for for an institution of like that will take care of old people uh if y'all don't know like i'm from portugal and portugal is going through a lot with inflation and war and everything like everything is a mess in this country the government is really <laughs> fucked up uh, our prime minister just quit because he is uh a lot of people is going through a lot right now, especially old people and kids, right? They have no way to protect themselves. And I've been seeing this happening. Like in my family, my one of my grandmas was invited to leave the, her house and she's living with my mom now because the owner just wanted a, a lot more money for it. So I thought, well, um, there's this This is nice. I, I, I will donate food for them. But you know, as I was training, I just thought I could put my art to work so i will be creating a little video promotion and emailing my clients inviting them to make a one euro donation so i can buy food and deliver to this you know institution and um i will make a giveaway with the people that donated none of this is written down and i am recording precisely because i need to make myself accountable and actually do this without fear i will email my clients I will email people who worked with me and I will try social media even though I do not have a following. I don't have a following. I'm gonna try, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Talk to you soon. I'm scrolling! Would you like me to draw for you? So here I am basically explaining everything that I just explained to you. Talking about the institution, the gym, giving the context and uh, inviting everyone to participate in my charity art raffle. The clients who decided to participate in my art raffle alone, they reached my goal. And then I adapted a video so I could post on social media and we quickly doubled and tripled m my goal, which was amazing. So update, it's been a while. I, I allowed time to pass. I've been pretty busy as well because of Christmas and, you know, all the crazy Christmas commission stuff. Let me get the... Wait. What is that? What is my ring light? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Ah, I found it. I was not made to make content. Can I just, like, grow organically without having to put any effort? <laughs> Can't I just draw? And just things magically happen around me. I'm still with my workout face. So like, I was so happy because in the first few hours we are we were over my primary goal. Primary goal was one card. We end up like with four five cards and i'm really happy that we ended up doing this that i ended up like actually having the balls to do this because i was really like afraid of failure thinking of myself too much to do something like this i was like mm, i shouldn't be like so arrogant to think that people will just do this because of my art I have some intrusive thoughts sometimes, but I'm happy that, like, even though I have no community, because as you saw, like, I have zero talent for content creation and whatever structure you need to, I don't have that. I am not good with content. But, like, this is a proof that even with small numbers, and a small group of people, a lot of things can happen. I'm happy, like, I'm, I'm really happy that with so, like, l little people compared to, like, how big those amazing artists of today are, I could actually, like, pull off something. And uh, this is, like, this should be, okay, this should be something for you to learn from. Because, like, a lot of people don't do things because they're afraid of, like, failing. And uh, they always put, like, blockages in their own way. Raise walls that never existed in the first place so they don't have to deal with failure. I gotta be honest, I only made this publicly because I couldn't 
couldn't believe that with my Instagram alone, I could do anything. I just had enough trust. Some of my clients would actually be down to participate in something like this. Even though my work became like very autopilot and I don't even get to really have conversations with my clients, the way they show appreciation for my work makes me feel really safe. And uh, <laughs> I just knew that at least I could get to a goal. My clients made it so easy in the first hour that I just like decided to make this public. I don't have thousands of followers, but still I managed to do something that is really fulfilling, not only for me, that I get to like use my art for something like so meaningful and so close. Anyway, I want to thank everyone for, you know, participating and, uh, you know, like even if my art is just an excuse to really do a good thing, because times have been weird and hard and uh, everyone's kind of struggling now. Elderly people that cannot like work anymore and their retirement is not like following with the inflation and everything that is happening in the world right now. Anyway, I don't think I have much to say anymore. So I did put everything, oh my god, music. I did put everything on a Google Sheets and we got almost 500 euros. Taxes done, 500. I, not exactly 500, but I will put the rest to the 500. So we got like the 500 mark. Let's fucking do this. <laughs> hey guys, it's 1.11 a.m. <laughs> and I just came here to say that I just ordered and uh, sent the food from the art raffle to my gym. Uh, I'm gonna show you right now, next story. It's, it's done, it's bought, it's there. 500 euros of food for charity. Thank you so much. I love you. There it is. This is the order of all the food. Okay. It's going to be delivered tomorrow by 11, 11.30 in my gym. And yeah, that's it. Yes. So I don't know if you guys remembered how it looked before, but this is the after. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Let's shuffle. Okay, congratulations, Leo, Max, and Frozen. I will contact you very soon for your artwork and yeah. I actually ended up uh, selecting three more people to get a sketch uh, and one of them didn't claim. The other one was a client of mine, an old client, so I didn't re record it. Um, and the third winner was my friend Marikawa who is a streamer, and she got me drawing this cute cat girl for uh, her boyfriend, I believe. I'm unsure who this character is, but I just followed a draw this in your style uh, in this, you know, sassy pose, because why not? Yes, and this was the final uh, result. Now to the big ones, this was for a cosplayer, Max, who requested me to draw her furry boy <laughs> that I have no context about, but it was really fun to, to create in general. He, I love, I honestly, <laughs> I honestly, I honestly really like Anthro characters so like to draw them i don't like them in a weird way okay uh i really like to draw them actually i, I don't think i don't think any artist has started their path as an artist drawing people okay so as well as any other artist when i was younger i used to draw wolves and one of my goal comic future books is actually all about wolves that transform into people because of a blessing they were conceived and a mission on earth okay 
So, yeah, I'm very proud of this one. I really enjoy the process. I just, you know, uh, I don't have much to say about the process itself because it was just like any other commission. So, yeah, enjoy the very quick spit paint, I guess. So the other winner was Leo, Leonardo, uh, who's actually a Portuguese cosplayer that works a lot with armor and props for a long time. Yeah, he requested me to draw himself with a toothless while he is building the helmet uh, in this, you know, setting of kind of medieval, but kind of not. Uh, I just made it as if he was actually uh, the main character of How to Train Your Dragon and uh, he was working on his actual helmet in his workshop along with his dragon toothless. In this one I have to actually use his face as a reference and uh, sometimes that doesn't work out very well. Real life people putting their faces in art is not easy to come natural and I have a couple of issues with this piece specifically because I don't think the head is exactly perfectly um, placed in his body his, his pose seems a little stiff in my opinion I could have worked a, a little uh, more or better or but the end result was all right, and uh, I I think Leo liked it, so hopefully he did. <laughs> he, he, he told me he did, and his family too, so that's nice. Uh, yeah, but uh, it was also a fun uh, little challenge to to draw him with a dragon and crafting something in this whole you know theme. Coincidence or not, all my winners were cosplayers, apart from the sketch commission co uh, winners, who I didn't record. But even the first one, Marikawa, she's also a cosplayer. So I don't know if this is a coincidence or if most of people who follow me and participated are actually cosplayers. I think so, honestly. I've seen a lot of cosplayers getting themselves into this. I love you guys. Once in my life, I did cosplay as well. So I hold every cosplayer in the world in my heart very dearly. I am retired now, but yeah. So this is Frozen. He's in the beginning of his cosplay journey. And uh, he donated 100 freaking euros alone. He was my top donated for, th for this. He requested me to draw himself and his cosplay girlfriend, who's this beautiful, she's amazing. She's great, you need to see her page. I'm, I'm leaving all of that here in the video somewhere. As Genshin Impact characters, Xiao and Hu Tao, and I absolutely loved this piece. I don't know. I just had to use their faces as a reference to the characters themselves and just dress them up as Genshin characters. And uh, that was the mission. And th there's a lot of harmony in this piece, in my opinion. So I am very proud of it. And it was a delight to work for everyone. I absolutely loved the process. Let's thank everyone personally. I'm really happy about this. Yay! Okay, Kara bought a coffee and sent a heart. Thank you so much, Kara. Shelby said, sending support to Portugal. Thank you, Shelby. Richard Fox. I know it's not much, but hopefully it can help. I'm actually curious, how much is it? He donated 50 euros. That's a lot, Richard, thank you. Abby and Rachel, my babies. Abby said, I love what you're doing. Rachel said, every little bit helps. That is true. And thank you so much. I love you. These are my two baby girls, okay? Jay, I don't need to enter the raffle. I just wanted to donate a little. What do you mean? You need to enter the raffle. There's like no option there. Chris May, thank you. He didn't say anything. Good choco cookie. Thanks for doing this. Let's make our cart full. We made plenty of carts at this point. <laughs> Irashin, Iraishin, Iraishin. Let's go, girl. Let's be heroes and help someone this Christmas. It's going to be a merry Christmas. 
Thank you. It's your mommy. It's my mommy. I've been a volunteer for a couple of years and I've seen a lot of families, elder children and a homeless struggling here. So proud of you, Mami Panda. Yeah, who goes volunteering in these places? That's rough. Anyway, Bruno Ferreira. Thank you. Sono. Papi. Frozen, frozen, frozen. Frozen donated 100 euros. Frozen is my child. Let's get that out of the way. Like, he is my son. Okay, and I couldn't be more proud of this little guy. Like, I don't know what has gotten into him, but that's a lot of money. I don't even know how to thank him. Frozen, I freaking love you, you know that. For the elderly people, they deserve a good rest of their life for what they have already done and be happy. They deserve to rest. Noxer, thank you so much, Noxer. I want my druid dwarf on a wheelchair drawn by you. <laughs> what did you do to your dwarf? Thank you, Justin Anderson and Leo. Thank you so much, Doctai Docti Who. Thank you, Pedro. És tão linda por isto. Obrigada, Pedro. Alexandra, you're such a beautiful person for doing this. Thank you. Soul for heaven. This is my rock boyfriend. Thank you, Ricas. Ricardo Santos. Obrigada. Lizard, this season, gift emoji, helping locals, handshake emoji, a chance of getting art from fellow creators. Thank you, Lizardo. Molly, thank you. Ollie Hillian, much love. Hope your grand's okay. She is actually, she's living with my mom, which is obviously not ideal because everyone deserves their privacy, but I mean, she's not alone and she she's fine. Thank you, though. Mega J. Infelizmente, in Portugal, the ganância é o que dá mais. E os políticos só querem saber maneiras de meter mais no bolso. Mesmo se não ganhar, eu quero ajudar com o que posso oferecer. É o que podemos fazer. E isso é levantar o cozinho para ir votar num partido diferente. <risos> Sasnaguito. I see you, Michael. Let's go. Thank you, Misha. Phase. One cent in my bank account, but for you I can do magic and create infinite money glitch in real life. Vicky, thank you. Emily, Emily, thank you. Ricky Rookie. Obrigada, Henrique. Eduardo Cunha Freitas. Obrigada por esta bonita iniciativa. Obrigada, Eduardo Cunha Freitas. <laughs> Maricawa. Let's go for more full cards. You're doing amazing, Rookie. You're doing amazing, baby girl. Max, it ain't much, but hopefully it will help a bit. Everything helps. Thank you so much. The collective makes the force. Diana, obrigada. Luis Peixoto, obrigada. Charlie, thank you. Dylan Butcher, I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even know if he's French. It's probably not Dylan. It's not a very French name. Dylan, thank you. Brandy, thank you so much. The press, he goes, please don't be depressed. I hope you're able to bring a smile to their faces. Me too, thank you. Postas. Postas? 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 Postas. Keep up the good work. Hope this helps a bit. Everything helps. And that's it! We did it! <laughs> thank you so much, everyone. Again, thank you so much. I, I, I am so incredibly grateful for everyone. I want to thank everyone again. Every single person who helped was part of this. This is about helping people. Using my art to flip the coin. The story that everyone told us artists that we will starve it's a lie, okay? We can actually use our art as an excuse to feed people. That's the reality we're living right now. So I just want to leave with a message for everyone whose fears are stopping them from taking action in their life. You have nothing to lose and life is too short for you to allow your fears to keep you still do things even if they're they fail even if you cannot guarantee success on the things and the goals you set do them anyway because even if you fail you'll learn something from it and you can try again and again and again and no one's gonna judge you no one slaps a kid when they're learning to walk no one does that so no one's gonna judge your process just do things do them for yourself and uh yeah uh, I want to thank everyone again, and uh, yeah, we did, we did it, we did it beautiful. See you next time. Bye bye.